Welcome back for another video. Today we're doing another creative week video. You guys really seem to like the first one that I did, so I decided to do another one, and I think I'm going to make it into a series here on my channel. It probably won't be every week, but I'm going to try and do it at least a couple times a month for you guys. This week's episode, episode two, um, is more just Tuesday, to be honest, and a couple other days thrown in there. It's not a full week. Just because I had, like, a creative marathon on Tuesday and I didn't want the video to be, like, crazy long. Um, so that's what's going on with that. But I just wanted to pop on here real quick first and thank you all so much, all of my subscribers and my viewers and all of you that comment and stuff. Um, you guys all really mean a lot to me. The reason I'm thanking you is because after having my YouTube channel up here for a year, I have finally gotten my first check from Google AdSense and I made $100 and I'm super excited. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to take the $100 and buy studio lighting to make my videos better for you guys. So um, I'm really excited about that. So hopefully as soon as I get those, you should see a improvement in my studio lighting. Um, and then my next goal obviously is to upgrade my filming and editing system, which is going to take a lot more than a hundred dollars, but start small, right? So yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys. I'm so excited to move forward with my YouTube videos and create better content for you guys. I love sharing with you and inspiring you. Um, and I wouldn't really be a point to doing what I do if you guys didn't like watching. So yeah. Thank you guys so much, and without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so on Sunday I decided to clean out some of my ephemera. This box is a bunch of scraps or things that I've found that I want to use that don't have a home, or things that I've made that I want to use that don't have a home. So I like to go through this occasionally, and I take out all the things that I still want to use and put them back in and then all the things that I don't want to use anymore or that were just scraps I got thrown in there that really weren't good for much um, I take those out and recycle them or put them in my giveaway pile and I do the same thing with this tray of images that I cut out of magazines um, I like to do this periodically because it reminds me of what I have and I found some items that I actually wanted to use on pages that I recently did so that's always nice um, and it reminds me of what I have so that I can use it on pages when I'm journaling later. So I'm just taking those pieces that I found that would work perfectly with things that I journaled about recently and I'm sticking them on there. Um, so I encourage you to guys to do this with uh, your magazine cutouts or your scrap in. Um, if you don't have a drawer full of things that inspire you, then What's the point, right? Uh -oh. Okay, so now I'm working in my bullet journal. I wanted to put a calendar for April here. I was waiting for Courtney's collage sheets to come out because I usually use the calendars that she puts out, but I was getting impatient. So I just printed this April calendar off of a wallpaper app and I put some distress paint down as a background. This is in the color Fossilized Amber. And I thought it went well with that buggy. And then I'm just layering some ephemera around it. So I have some black and white flowers. And then um, some of these, I don't know what they are. I think my aunt gave them to me. They're just um, little die cut pieces, but it's in a really cool like design. You've seen me use, me use them before. There they are. So yeah, I'm going to add some black glimmer mist um, ch -ch -ch, sprinkle splatters. There we go to the background as well. And then I'm going to set that aside to dry and work on something else. This is something I do a lot. So this is a page that I'm still working on. Um, if you've been watching my videos for recently, um, you know that I'm now working in chunks. So I just do a little bit of a page and then I move on and I'll come back to it and add more stuff later. I found that I like this style of journaling a lot more and I like my pages a lot more when I do this. So I'm just adding some more to this page. Um, 
all of this that I added I think is ephemera from Courtney's collage sheets um, for March. So what would have been last month? So I cut this girl out and I'm just going to put her on there and then put the saying at the top. Whatever that was. <laughs> the worst enemy, I think, for creativity is yourself or something like that. Yeah, is self-doubt. The worst enemy to creativity is self-doubt. Um, because under that leaf, there's something that I made that I'm really not proud of. <laughs> so I covered it up with a cute tibbin. So here I'm just prepping the next page with some distress stain. I believe I used tumbled glass and weathered wood on there. And here I'm gluing down that thing because I thought it was dry but it wasn't. So now I have to wipe off all that black smooch. I am loving this planner glue pen by Prima. I'm sure I've mentioned that before. but. If you have not tried one, I highly recommend it. I haven't found them anywhere other than scrapbook.com for a reasonable price, which is unfortunate. I got it originally in a Coco Daisy kit, uh, but I definitely want to get more. So now going back to this, I went to a Maine Geological Society Crystal and Rock show with my aunt and some of her friends. And I got, those are three new rings that I bought. Um, they're something that I've wanted for a while. Two of them are amber and one is turquoise. Um, so I was super excited, so I took a picture of that. And then I picked up some more crystals and fossils while I was there. Um, I have a huge collection of them. I love um, crystals and such. So I just wanted to journal about this day. And I decided to put... Um, Crystal Love as the title for this spread. And I am using these glitter letters. I have no idea where they're from. But I thought it would be a good idea to use this Tim Holtz um, thing. Like, usually I put it on a clear acrylic block and then position it and peel them off. But these didn't peel off as nicely as I thought they would. It still worked out in the end, but don't do that. Just don't be lazy and get your acrylic block out because. It works a lot better that way. So here you'll see me just trying to peel off the bottom of them to get them off. And then I said screw it and just put love on eyeballing it, winging it. But yeah, I really like um, how many different fonts are on this sheet. So it creates really interesting titles because none of your letters look the same. That might drive some people crazy, but I think it adds a lot of extra interest, and I love it. And now I'm just trying to figure out where I want to put that. I had them all arranged in a photo, but I don't know. I just wanted to change it up a bit. And I wanted to be able to label each of them and write a little bit about their um, energetic properties and stuff so I left um, I didn't leave I cut it apart so that I could do that and leave space between them on my page I love those little fossil trilobites. I got a little baby one, as you can see, that I labeled it that. I think they're so cute, and it's so cool to have just like a fossil of history. Just hold history in your hand. Like, this used to be a really cool bug that you'll never see again. And the little baby one, you can actually see the giant eyes it had. It's just, ah, they're so cool. If you've never held a trilobite, you should put that on your bucket list definitely. 
and I'm just stapling with my tiny attacher this acetate piece that says good day because it was a good day and then I'm just going to put um, my admission ticket from the show in there as well I did glue it and staple it I know it was overkill but I wanted it glued down but I like the look of the staples so some of you were wondering um, what my days look like as I progress in my Hobonichi weeks because you see me plan at the beginning of the week but you don't see what happens other than that so this is me catching up on Monday I use a lot of stickers to mark different things so I put a TV because I'm obsessed with the show the hundred right now on Netflix um, if you like action thriller survival type stuff um, well it's not really I don't know just, just watch the preview. It's cool. Um, but me and my friend are watching that together. So I had a binge of the hundred with him on Monday because he had the day off too. And we went to breakfast and I went grocery shopping and I put my weather icons on. So yeah, it's just kind of what I do. And then I go through and mark off the things that I did or I bought. And yeah, so this is later that evening. Um, and Courtney put her Patreon collage sheets up. I put this in here just because I wanted to talk to you guys about it a little bit. I love collage sheet day, not only because I get new images, but because I love cutting things out. I don't know what it is. I just love sitting down at my desk and turning YouTube on and just cutting shit up. I just, I don't know what it is. It's just so nice. <laughs> so... If you find cutting therapy out too, let me know in the comments below. So I know I'm not the only weirdo. Okay, guys? Really. But yeah, so if you have not checked out um, Courtney, the Little Raven Inc. on Patreon, I suggest that you do so. I did follow some other people, but they decided to take breaks, which is okay. Um, so I can only link Courtney's for you at this time. But I'm sh there are tons of other creators. I know Allie Brown does it. I know Burgess Taylor does it. Um... So yeah, just go check Patreon out. It's a super cool place um, to get extra content and inspiration and things to use in your journals and planners. So yeah, nothing much to watch here, just me cutting stuff up. 